it's, it has been a long time uh, practicing this language because of this, and uh, I hope uh, to, to to share my opinion and that's it. Thank you, thank you so much. I, I have got all the questions for this guy because um, a lot of people they are underestimating the the use of Sudan. Uh, do you think that the Sudanese they are Sudanese uh, nation they are well capable enough, you know, to take their freedom without harming others? They are well mature enough for taking their freedoms. Of course, but they shouting there with peaceful, peaceful demonstration here, right? This is this is the issue. The freedom come. Uh, you, you born with the freedom and free will. You are better than the animal. We are better. We are human beings. We are better than the animal. We are better than the angel to do whatever we want to do. But what it has taken by violence, we going to take it by violence too. But with the peaceful, the, the thing that they are doing here, with the peaceful thing, which is a good thing. The freedom, is, it, it's uh, like the last speaker he said, he has said a uh, good quotation, by the way. It's, it's, uh, it's given, it's not t uh, taken. No, actually, it's, it's uh, yeah, yeah, actually, it's, it's given. It's and taken, it's not given, it's taken. No, it's given. <laughs> no, no, we, we took our freedom, okay? They didn't give us our freedom, okay? So, we've taken our freedom. They haven't given us the freedom. So, we've taken. It is taken. It's not given. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for that. It's taken. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, yes, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to just uh, respond for your example. You said that, for example, having gays here in Sudan, so they are not allowed to do their things. Okay, because here, any country has his uh, its own law, okay? So here, the law in Sudan does not allow for them because here we are Islamic country. So any country has its own laws. So this is here would be something illegal. You get my point? Thank you so much. Uh, for the rest, yeah? Again, we are talking about freedom. Welcome. Please give him a harsh clap. Hi for everyone. Hi. So the freedom, I think it is the basic thing for the theater of dance. <coughs> so we are here because of freedom. All right, all right. Because we spend more than three decades without freedom. And we come here to find our freedom. And we are almost to take our complete freedom. Because without freedom, we can't, we can't able to advance. The freedom means education. The freedom means sharing of ideas between different people. The freedom means combining the people into one track to build the country which is called Sudan. So, Sudan is indeed needing for the freedom because we're still feeling thirst of freedom. Some people say that, could the people able, especially the Sudanese, will able to take the responsibility for the freedom? I can see yes. Because we are the pioneer of everything. We have the teachers, we have the doctors, we have the engineers, we have everything. It means we are enough capable to take our responsibility toward the freedom. This is the kind of freedom. If it, is what not, if it was not the freedom, we did not come to here to express, and share ideas, and to see the different opinions of different people. This is mean the new and small Sudan here is combining us here. We are talking here under the freedom because maybe more than um, four to five months we can't able to speak freely. So it means this is a kind of the freedom. And this is the good for the freedom. Uh, for the, 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 the freedom. The freedom, if you compare between us and advanced country, I mean the progress ones like America and Europe, you could find the different, different, different between us because we were believing under the dictatorship. Since independent up to today, maybe we still not complete, but we are on our way just to take it out. Why those countries are going fast? 
and the ball because they have a freedom and democracy. Through the democracy, we can able to learn, we can able to express our different ideas that we have. That's why the freedom it is the basic things for us. We must to concentrate on it, to take our right by our hand and peaceable demonstration. So this is the kind of freedom. And we are searching for the freedom. So, uh, everyone that might believe, after here, as we took the freedom, our life and the construction of the countries will absolutely be changed. So why? Because we are free. Okay? But you compare between now and last 30 years, it's different. So the night is different because it's the kind of the freedom. So that's why. So I don't want to speak anymore. Uh, this was all uh, my ideas. And I will bring chance for everyone. So thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah Mr. Abdemunem uh, has something to say. Yeah. So thank you very much, the participant. We still continue to discuss the topic. So our topic, as you know, and the, for, for the newcomers, is about freedom. What does freedom mean to you? And uh, also the aspects of uh, slavery during Bashir regime. Because uh, the opposite meaning of, uh, of freedom is domination or can be slavery. And from historical point of view, we said that um, people, um, let me say that there was a point that freedom is something taken or given. Uh, in my view, I, I think that freedom is a God-given virtue. So you cannot take, uh, let's say, it's not taken, it is God-given. And that's why I emphasize a point that one of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that, Mata is nas, ahrara. So when you were born, you are free. But I think that the problem all around the, the world and all the root of the problem that we have is uh, people trying to take, rip out the freedom of other people. Here, freedom, uh, let's say problems are created. So. Uh, for example, some of the slavery, let's say the form of slavery that uh, we, we have seen or we have read in the history books. Uh, it started in, uh, let's say, Greek, uh, Greek empire, empire. So uh, agriculture, let's say uh, pharma, farmers try to, for example, give money for, uh, let's say, farm shares. Um, uh, uh, let's say a piece of land and you have to cultivate uh, that land. If you are not uh, fulfill your promise with the farmer, the owner of the land, that means you are going to be a slave. It wasn't based on color. It wasn't based on, let's say, social, social background. But uh, as history goes on, um, uh, we, had we have found uh, some kind of, uh, free, uh, let's say, slaveries. For example, in the, in the time before Islam has come into being, in the time called dark ages or ignorance the age of ignorance people in enslaved black people based on their color so that's type of uh, slavery that we had and then uh, the last uh, systematic way of uh, the dominating people was uh, let's say uh, colonies colonies tried to take african people to europe and to america and that was some form of real organized uh, way of what uh, slavery and that led to problems and that problems finished in 1960s in the United States, in the country of the United States by freedom movement leaders like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and that led to freedom and finally we came to Africa people like uh, Nelson Mandela when he say I fought against white domination and I fought against black domination. What's that domination? Domination means that here, ripping out of your freedom. And he said that, I cherish the ideal of democratic and free society. Free society. This free society, that means your ability to say what you want to say. And your ability to do what you want to do as far as you don't harm the freedom of others. That means this freedom is governed with, with the laws. And we have different types of freedom. For example, in Sudan, 
uh, Sudanese freedom is different from American freedom regarding individuals regarding individual for example uh, in Sudan uh, it is not it is not allowed for a lady to wear uh, let's say a such naked type of what clothes because we have freedoms that govern with our culture with the habits and traditions but in America it's normal you can go and naked so you are free there but in Sudan freedom is governed with but we agree that there should be freedom of expression does mean you have to say whatever you want to say as long as you don't harm other people freedom of thoughts as a writer or novelist you have to write stories writing of stories nobody will come and say okay stop writing stories freedom of press does mean any journalist person comes here and investigate and take reports and no government like Bashir government comes and say okay stop publishing uh, stories and uh, uh, bad news about the government so in Sudan what we want here different types of freedom freedom of thought freedom of expression and freedom of press and different type of freedom so also in Sudan one of the problems that we have if we investigate it very deeply it is based on freedoms there is no freedoms the opposition parties that were against Bashir himself they were asking about freedoms they said okay for freedoms al -Huriyat. so they talked about freedom we don't know that because we were not aware about that freedoms so I'm not going to talk and belong with you but I'm going to open chances for you to speak about freedom Sagatat ma Sagatat Sagatat ma Sagatat so you are free you are free to share yes I have a question yes welcome what difference between uh, liberty and freedom uh, really this is a very good question he said that what what are the differences between liberty and freedom so freedom as we mentioned that uh, to say whatever you want to say and to do whatever you want to do as far as you don't yes but liberty does mean you already rip out of your freedom and you trying to liberate yourself liberate liberating yourself that's mean you're asking for freedom as if uh, liberation is a movement for example in, in in Darfur we have Sudan liberation movement Harakat Tahrir Sudan so Tahrir here liberation you want to liberate because your freedom has been taken by dictator so this is the differences between uh, liberation and freedom so thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Abdulmunem. Before we sum up, just say in a minute, uh, Dr. Niaz is gonna reveal something. Okay, I I, uh, I like the comment of the uh, young man who sat uh, next to me just uh, a few moments ago, and he talked about uh, he talked about the right uh, in different uh, communities. Like uh, he, he mentioned the example of uh, of gays. And I, I, I'm going to take this and to express my opinion. You know, this point of view distinguishes uh, the the community from, from 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 the other. Because, for example, the Western uh, communities, the American uh, state, the United States of America. I mentioned here a, 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 a day ago that they had. Uh, paid a very high cost for their uh, liberty and freedom uh, going along uh, civilian war uh, that lasted about 112 years and they came up with their constitution their permanent constitution that the thing that we lack till now in Sudan and we hope that we are going to uh, make it uh, sooner so uh, any any community, in my point of view and in my experience, any community worldwide has its own social norms and traditions. But those social norms and traditions, they may rise and be very sophisticated in a, in a, in a community and they may drop downwards. For example, the social norms of the Amazon people. Till now, they are undiscovered, they are they are naked or semi-naked and they just like that they live just like animals and they're happy and they're okay of that because the social norms and their traditions accept this and there is another point of view which is very important is the public awareness 
when the public awareness rises up, so the social norms goes go go up, and the demands for liberation and for constituting and or, or forming a permanent constitution that distinguishes a nation like the Sudanese nation, for example, those hopes go also higher, high, up enough. But you know, for example, he, my colleague here mentioned that it's not allowed for a lady or a girl to, to wear uh, something that the social norms and traditions don't accept. So even even before uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, started to send the messengers, you know, the uh, human just landed in, on earth and they were given their freedom and a, a, a long time before the first messenger came. That's why because Allah gave us the free will and the brain and the minds so that we are free to, to, to build ourselves, we are free to, to take or to choose these social norms and traditions rather than the others. And then after that, when we, when we, when we became in the, in the concept of the modernized state, when we became a nation, then we have to have a constitution. So that's what we are we are going to do, and that's what what is ahead of us. Hopefully, it's going to be done. Sucks, sucks. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Niazi. Because we're gonna sum up. Just say, I, I like your question, and I'm gonna even answer this question. What is the difference between freedom and liberty? So, both of them having the power. Number one, having the power to act and speak. To, uh, to express and speak so this is liberty but having the power to do something so this is freedom I'm gonna give you a clear example for this for example Dr. Muhammad Najil Assam he was in a jail right when the uh, uh, one of the officers asked him what is the solution he said that's good best okay so here his liberty is still was still in his mind he expressed his thoughts and his opinion. He had liberty, but he cannot do anything. He couldn't do anything, right? Because his freedom was taken. He didn't have freedom, but he had liberty. Because he said, that's good pass, right? So he had liberty to express and speak, or to reveal his opinion, but he cannot, or he couldn't do anything. But we brought back his freedom, right? And we brought back our freedom in this country. That as we all, huh? That is mean uh, freedom uh, limited uh, and uh, liberty unlimited. Yeah, freedom unlimited. Yes. Yeah, it is more concrete than liberty. Freedom is more concrete than liberty. So that's it. So because uh, our time is over, as we always say, and uh, as Abraham Lincoln once said, the world will let him know, no longer remember what we say here. But it can never forget what we did here. That these days shall not have died in vain. That this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. And the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth tomorrow at the same time. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you.